everyone, welcome back to Breathing with Leanne, and we're going to read the book Hannah and Sugar by Kate Beru. So this is a little book about a girl named Hannah, and every day when Hannah finishes school, her dad picks her up. Um, but also, one of her classmates' dog is waiting for them. Hannah is initially a little bit afraid of the dog, and let's see, how does she grow out of this fear? Okay, let's begin. So when we open up the book, we see that there is a bus driving towards a group of people who are waiting. Every day after school, Hannah's papa picked her up at the bus stop. So the papa is waving and waiting for Hannah. Hannah's wearing a pink shirt with polka dots. And every day after school, Sugar, was at the bus stop waiting for Violet P. Do you see the doggy? The dog is waiting for the other classmate. The other classmate has pigtails and her name is Violet. Every day after school, Mrs. P, who is Violet's mom, asked Hannah if she wanted to pet sugar. So pet means to, you know, touch sugar like this. Mm, Hannah holds on to her dad. She looks a little bit afraid, right? And every day after school, Hannah said, No, thank you. She doesn't really want to pet Sugar. All the other kids, though, are petting the dog. Every day after school, Hannah's papa picked her up at the bus stop. So even in the fall, and every day, Sugar was at the bus stop, waiting for Violet P. So even in the snow, right in the winter, the doggy is still there. Every day after school, Mrs. P asked Hannah if she wanted to pet Sugar. She looks unsure, right? And every single day, Hannah said, No, thank you. She... I think she's still a little bit afraid of Sugar, the doggy. <gasps> what did the dog find? A little snail? I think so. So, Sugar, the dog, <laughs> looks at Hannah. And Hannah looks back at Sugar, a little bit unsure. <gasps> but one day, Something was different. Sugar is missing, said Violet P. You see Violet with her pigtails, all her friends are around her. How does Violet feel? She feels really sad, right? Her dog is missing. She's been gone all night and all day. No one can find her. Everyone promised to help look for Sugar. Everyone searched high and low, and low and high. So you see the people walking on the street, they're looking, and here and there, and everywhere else too. People are looking everywhere for this dog. But soon it was time to go home for dinner, and there was no sign of sugar. So do you see it gets from afternoon to evening, it gets darker and darker at night and the dog is still lost. And soon it's nighttime. What do you see in the sky? There's stars twinkling, right? And you see Hannah, she's sitting at her house. After dinner, Hannah watched the stars come out. She listened to the sound of the trains in the distance and she wondered how it would feel to be lost in the dark. She decided that it would be scary and that if she were lost, she would be sad and probably hungry. Can you imagine if you were lost, just like the doggy, away from home in the dark? It wouldn't be a good feeling. <laughs> then she heard a strange sound, a little whimper. It was coming from the side of her house. She heard it again. She tried to see what was making that sound, 
but it was too dark. She crawled in between the bushes and saw. She goes, she goes, she goes. <gasps> Sugar! There's the dog, right? Hannah gasped. Because <gasps> remember, she's a little bit afraid of the dog. She started to back out, but then stopped. So. You know, she sees the dog and it looks like the collar and the leash, it's um, caught up in the bush. Sugar is stuck. So she's afraid, but Hannah looks at Sugar and Sugar looks really sad back at her. <sighs> Hannah closed her eyes and took a deep breath. So she closed her eyes. Even though she's scared, right, she wants to help the dog. Then, she gently reached out a trembling hand. Right. Sugar sniffed Hannah's hand and rubbed her face along it. And look! Hannah, she frees Sugar and she hugs Sugar. This is the first time that she has pet the dog. The dog is so happy to be free. Hannah's papa was proud of her. And Violet P and Mr. and Mrs. P were happy to see Sugar. Her classmate is so happy to have the dog back. After that, every day after school, Hannah's papa picked her up at the bus stop. Hey, Dad! And every day after school, Sugar was at the bus stop waiting for Violet P. Hey, Sugar! Everyone calls. <laughs> Sugar is waiting and for Hannah too. So she's no longer afraid, right? She gives Sugar a big hug. And that's the end. Thank you so much for reading along with me.